Hey guys, what's going on? I am reviewing Lego Set 41068 Arendelle Castle Celebration with 477 regular pieces. This is from the Disney Princess line from the movie Frozen. It is a castle, or more appropriately, it is a palace. As you can see my box came slightly damaged, um, but the set itself was fine. Like most Disney princess sets. This one is a sort of dollhouse style where the front looks very nice and stylized and the back is open. And the back of the box shows some of the playability features along with some of the special pieces or pieces that they would like to call out. Um, but we can look at that on the set. It has four bags and two minifigures. Okay, it does not show all the minifigures on the top side as some of the boxes do. For the instructions, there is one book. It is a medium size. There are some advertisements at the end. And then the extra pieces. And another page of advertisements and 126 pages of instructions themselves. The build is quite straightforward and easy as most of them. It does contain stickers. It actually contains 18 stickers. This is the used sticker sheet to give you an idea. So all of the stickers are printed on clear plastic. Um, but the stickers themselves, I don't think any of them are clear. And I take that back. Some of them are clear, but you can see it is printed on clear plastic. Okay, now finally, before we get on to the set itself, the extra pieces. I like to show the extra pieces because these are pieces that you're also getting with the set and or paying for. I think one of these ribbons are supposed to be in the present box, sorry. But you can see there's quite a bit of extra pieces and some of them are quite good, like this purple flower base, lavender flower base. You don't see that much at all. You have two other green bases. You have several um, bows and accessories, such as this flower. So you do have lots of Nice extra pieces, which is quite standard on Disney Princess sets. And then for the set figures, oh, you also get a piece puller with this set, standard orange. So for the figures of this set, you have Elsa and her sister, Elsa and her sister, uh, Arendelle, I guess. So Arendel is some of the other sets. She's wearing green. Here she has blue on a blue dress on with looks like sunflowers and a green and black vest, a green vest with a black undershirt. And Elsa herself has a tiara along with a staff that I think originated with Loki's staff from Avengers. She's wearing a green dress with flowers and sparkles and is doing more ice magic. So in her hair, she has two spots for accessories. So does Arendel. Top and back. Okay, Elsa also comes with a cape. Sorry, I should have mentioned. A cape that is green with red flower printing to match her dress. You get an Olaf figure, which is similar to the Elsa's Magical Ice Palace, except that one had a printed piece on the front. This one does not. The head is the same, and the otherwise the build is pretty much the same. You also have three little ice, uh, three little snowmen. So these are the same. They have the Harry Potter Quidditch ball head, and they have a minifigure head body and also as kind of accessories you have the cake 
so the cake and the cake table, the cake is topped with a gem, which is interesting. I've never seen an edible gem, but it could be made of jelly, gelatin or something. It's a simple but nice cake. And you also have a sort of cupcake stand and two clear glasses. You have stools which are made with rocket bottoms. And these are stickers here for the top of the seat. Nice, uh, nice pattern there. You have a present for her, which is supposed to have a bow in it. And you again put a sticker on the top for the bow of the present. You also have two things of balloon. This is where the lavender, um, the lavender flower bases come from. But you also see these balloons are really nice extra pieces. As you can get purple fuchsia or magenta and uh, light blue heads along with the flowers and the lavender flower stems. So these have very nice pieces in them, if that's what you're going for. For the set itself, it is a two-story. It does look like a three-story, but it's actually a two-story set. There is a yard in the front. So first, the front of the set, as you can see there is a large slide, unlike Elsa's Magical Ice Palace, which had a small slide. There is a large slide. Um, there are these two, I don't know if they're supposed to be fountains or statues or blue flames. You have one large door. It's not two doors, but it's one large door. This is where the stickers are clear. And then you have some flat pieces here. I think they look a little bit random. I understand red here for the entrance, but I don't understand why you have clear blue around here. Is this supposed to be slippery ice or I'm not sure. So as you can tell this palace has a lot less ice or clear blue but it is, does have some also in the structure so makes me wonder if the palace is made mostly out of non-ice with some ice added or is this not supposed to be ice or is it just supposed to be an ice coating? This is a little confusing if you haven't seen the movie. And you also see the windowsills here have some nice flowers. That's a good touch and some kind of frozen leaf decorations here. You have these nice, very light kind of seafoam green uh, roof here for going into the second floor, which has no windows just has openings and these brown things do kind of look like curtains but no windows. And then these interesting kind of weapons as icicles here. And then the third floor is just for decoration. They are clear blue pieces with stickers on them to signify drapes or curtains and you have a nice clear blue icicle topping it off. So it does look pretty grandeur from the back, from the front. I would say about as grandeur as Elsa's Magical Ice Palace, which is over there, although that one is taller. I'll do a comparison video later. Then on the inside of the back, um, I guess I'll start with bottom, even though I'd rather start with the second floor. You have a nice fireplace, which is movable. Although most people don't move their fireplaces, it's quite a bit of work. So the tim chimney does kind of stop halfway. There seems to be, this is the mail slot. So you can see there's a letter there. This is a rug in front of the fireplace. This is the door, as I mentioned. Here is a nice grandfather clock. Uh, so this is with a clear piece with a sticker here and a separate sticker on top, which is a mailbox, which contains two ice skates. So this is a quite nice touch. It's not really, it's not movable in the sense that it's not on these four to one reducing pieces, um, but 
Of course, you can move it if you wish. There is a sticker here on the inside of a girl on a swing kicking a shoe. This looks like a daybed and a thing of flowers. So on the second floor, there is no way to get to the second floor. There is only the slide. On the second floor, there is another thing of flowers. This is confusing as right in front of the slide is flat pieces. I don't know if this is ice to make them slip into the slide or if this is so you can just put a figure there and then kind of push it onto the slide like this. I'm really not sure what the purpose of these ice pieces are. Or is this to signify that this is still outside because there's a door here rather than closer to the slide. And there is a lock on the door but there's no key coming with the set. And this leads directly to the bed. So you have to step over the bed to get to the second place fire, which is a much smaller fire. Um, but there is a nice side table here with a cup and I guess a glass of water. The bed itself is also quite nice. This is also on four to one reducers. So it is a movable bed in case you want her to sleep downstairs or something. And as I mentioned, the third floor is just aesthetical. There is no functioning space for them on the third floor, which is, yeah, a bit of a shame, but it's also okay. I understand this is very much a dollhouse type build, whereas, um, some of the older castle fans will look at this and say there's absolutely no defenses. It shouldn't be called a castle. It should be called a palace. It still has some nice pieces and it looks good from the front. Uh, so I would give it maybe a 3.5 out of 5 or a 4 out of 5. I mean, it still looks good, has nice pieces. I may not keep it, but um, it's, it's not a bad set. I, I may not keep it. I may not keep it in this form. I may use it to build something else, but it's not a bad set. So yeah, 3.5 out of 5 or 4 out of 5. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know if this really fits in with a beautiful scene from the movie. Maybe it does. If so, then I would recommend to buy it. Otherwise, eh, I don't know. I think the Elsa's Magical Ice Palace feels a little more complete. This one feels a little more complete on the inside, though. I will add that. I like the grandfather clock and the fireplace here more than the inside of the larger palace, which is off camera there. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching.